In this video, we're going to walk you through assignment 14.3, number 1, our first attempt at part writing an example that has modulation in it. Let's check the key signature out at the beginning. We have one sharp, so it's already labeled as the key of G. But if you look at the sharp below the A here and the A here in the bass line, you know that that means that we're going to raise the third of those chords, which means the third above A, which would be C, will actually be C sharp. So if you would have added C sharp to your key signature, that would indicate the key of D or, or B minor. So we're going to look for a possible uh, modulation to the key of D or possibly B minor. And um, look at the last note. I mean, that's really the clue. Um, in the bass line, we have a D. So it looks like we're going to be um, ending in the key of D. And that's part, part of part writing um, and engineering these modulations is just being able to spot what is most likely to happen. So we began in the key of G. We saw the C sharp being added, and that told us uh, that we're, C sharp is basically an accidental that points to D. All right, let's go ahead and part write it. Um, the, the first chord is already done for us. Um, in the second chord, let's uh, take that tenor just up to the doubling of the root. Um, this, this D with nothing in the figured bass means it's a, a dominant. And uh, the F sharp, uh, that, that's also necessary, we'll put in the alto. Uh, the next chord has G in the bass, that's tonic. It's a root position tonic chord. Let's keep the D in the tenor, maintain the common tone, and let's just move the uh, alto up to G, so the part writing stays nice and smooth. Okay, in this one we're going to need a C sharp. Well, the tenor is right next door to that C sharp, so let's bring it down. And that takes care of you know, the sharp that's in the, the figures. And then the only other remaining note of this um, A, C sharp, E triad is the E. We'll put that in the alto. The alto is very nearby. Okay, in the next triad we have a first... Uh, by the way, what do we call that? Well, uh, we're not sure yet. Let, let's uh, look where we're heading. We're heading to the key of D. Uh, the, 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 the strategy I've been recommending is take the, the chord where the accidental appears, go back one chord, and see if there is a common chord. See if there is a chord that would exist in both keys. So the question is, could this be where we pivot? Is this chord here a chord that could exist in the key we're heading towards, in the key of D? It's a G major triad. G major triad in the key of D is the subdominant. So let's make that our pivot. Label it as now moving to D major. And if that's the subdominant, you know, what is this chord here? that we're saying um, is A, C sharp, E. Well, that's the dominant in the key of D. So we're proceeding as if we're in the key of D. We're proceeding as if we've made this modulation. All right, the next chord, we have a uh, B in the bass, but it has a 6 in the uh, figure, so we know we go down a third to figure out what the root of that is. That's a G. So that's another subdominant. But because B is in the bass, it's a subdominant 6. I'm going to just finish the the bass line uh, here. The next chord with D in the bass will be a tonic. It's a root position. The next chord with um, A and the C sharp again, uh, that's another dominant. And then finally we end up with tonic. So we can go ahead and part write this. Um, coming from the uh, end of the last measure into this measure, the C sharp, if it just goes down a step to B, now that's not a normal doubling for first inversion chord, but I've chosen this alternate doubling of doubling the third in the bass uh, for voice leading reasons. It seems like it's very smooth uh, to get uh, from the previous uh, notes. So it's okay to use it as an exception. Uh, the next chord, the tonic and root position, well, here's my other D in the alto. It's already on a D anyway. Why not just keep it there? Then bring the uh, tenor down to A. And then the dominant chord, we need two A's. So let's put it in the tenor since it's already on an A. And then the C sharp that uh, the figure requires the sharp in the figure base, we'll put here, in the alto. And then finally, uh, so we have a nice full voicing, let's bring the tenor down to F sharp and the alto down to A. And so we actually start in the key of G through a pivot chord on the third beat of the first measure, a G major triad that serves as the tonic in the old key, but the subdominant going forward. We uh, modulate, the C sharp is introduced, after that pivot and supports the key of D, as does the bass line.